What's up, Barney family? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are headed into Dollar Tree to check out the new pegboard system that Dollar Tree is carrying. It's an entire system with pegboards and accessories that come in black and white. It is a great price at $1.25. I really want to share with you guys some ideas, so let's just jump into it. Let's start with the simple setup of these pegboards. You can screw these directly into your wall or you can use these adhesive rings that Dollar Tree is carrying. It's four for $1.25. The rings just snap right into the back of your pegboard boards. The easiest way to apply the adhesive is to remove the paper backing off of one side, place that on your rink, and do that to all four rinks. Once you have that done, remove the other paper backing and then place that on your wall. I'm going to use my leveler to place the first few pipe boards just because I really don't want them to be all unleveled. Also the adhesive on this stuff is not very forgiving, so be careful. Now it's time for the fun to happen decorating this thing. I'm going to start off with the pegboard shelves. These are great for putting bigger items on top of or more of. Pretend like it's a bunch of acrylic paint or maybe even some glasses. Dollar Tree recently got in these candy jars with lids. You're going to find them in the party section. These are great for holding little knickknacks like beads, paper clips, you name it. If it fits, these are a great option to put on top of the shelves. Another great buy is the square shaped pegboard trays at Dollar Tree. These are one of my favorite accessories you can get from the pegboard collection. It's these pegboard cup holders. They're great for holding pencils, markers, pens, you name it. It can hold a whole bunch. You can also find the pegboard hooks. They have them in different lengths, as you can see. These are great for organizing things like scissors, ribbons, rulers, and they're six for $1.25. You can even find these ring hooks. Now I'm actually going to be using them to hang some of my vinyl. I did have to put some tape on the back of the vinyl to get it to stay in place because I was only using one hook per vinyl. My original plan was just to do the pegboard on one side of my desk. However, I loved it so much I decided to continue on the other side of the desk. This is how the desk area looked behind me before, and now it is just absolutely gorgeous. I went to my local hardware store and I bought some whiteboard to go on top of my desk. I wanted everything to really flow nicely together. I've talked about this on my channel before. Ever since having my son, I love color. Before, I just liked more neutral tones, and now I'm like, give me all of the color. So I love the way that this area looks now, and this system works so well. And I think that it is a great product price for $1.25 for each piece that you're going to buy. Moving along, the next project I'm about to share with you guys is inspired by Shannon from The Daily DIYer. She is hands down one of the most talented people in the Dollar Tree community. I'm going to have her channel linked down below for you guys to check her out. What you're gonna do is get at least four pieces of pegboard. I'm going to glue my pieces together using E6000 and a little bit of hot glue just to get them to stick right away. I'm making my piece a little bit different from Shannon's. I decided to make a smaller piece using these smaller square pegboards. They come two for a dollar and 25 cents. I glued four of them together and then once all of the glue has completely dry, I take zip ties to these pieces and secure them into place. Now I'm going to glue a pegboard on top of my piece, but again, make sure you check out Shannon because she did hers entirely different. So I glue a bigger piece onto my square and then I glue my smaller pegboards on top of that piece. I'm going to spray paint my pegboard this time around and I'm using this Rust-Oleum paint in Sweet Pea and I had to spray paint this because I ended up using one black pegboard so it wasn't going to fly keeping it all white and black for me. I'm going to show you guys a few different setups with this piece, but what's great about this piece is if you don't want to put the pegboard on your wall, you can make pieces like this and display your items that way. So this is a setup that I did with just gold and pink toned items. I just thought it would look really pretty to do it this way, even though I know a lot of you guys don't just craft with items that are this color. To make this spin, I made my own little Lazy Susan. I got some plates from Dollar Tree, and then I placed some beads on top of one of the plates, and then the other plate on top of that. These plates were a little too small for this piece, but I'm giving you guys just kind of the concept of how it is when you're able to spin this around. 
For fun, I did another setup, but this one was more of the rainbow style that I really, really like. And at the top, you're able to put things inside of there. So I put some of my vinyl at the very top of this. And that's how this setup looked. But you're going to want to stay tuned after this to see my final setup of this little organizer. Pegboards aren't just for crafting and tools, you guys. You can even use this system to display and organize your makeup. If you have a vanity, this would look really pretty near it. And if you don't have a vanity, you can always do this in a different area of your home. So go ahead, put your pegboards on your wall, add your accessory pieces, and then just start to display your makeup on top of this. I'm telling you guys, it looks really, really pretty. And you can always spray paint pieces to make it match your makeup vanity a little bit better side note look at the Care Bears makeup it's from white and wild you can find it at Walmart online it was limited edition so I don't know if it's still out but it is absolutely adorable anyhow back to that little organizer we previously made you can get these smaller little pegboard hooks and use this to display your unopened lashes and it looks like honestly like a little display that you're gonna see inside of a store it's so adorable if you have a open makeup that has those little tabs you can hang those off of this as well I just think that it looks so adorable this way and then you could put some makeup brushes on the very top of this and if you have something that you don't want somebody to see you can hide it under the system ain't nobody gonna know for our next project, I picked up some molding from Home Depot. I got two two-foot pieces and we soldered right inside of the Home Depot itself. I went with a thinner, cheaper molding and I went with white just because it was done for me. I didn't have to paint it. It's cheaper if you get it unfinished. What we are doing is using a drill bit to create some holes on one side of the pegboard at the top and the bottom. Through the holes, we push in some of these one-fourth of an inch dowels that we got at Home Depot. You want the hole to be just big enough to get the dowel to go through, but you want it to be tight enough that the dowel is not just gonna fall to the very bottom right out of the hole. So we hammered it in a bit to really just kind of wedge it through. Then we're gonna start creating some holes on both of our molding pieces. What's gonna happen is our pegboard pieces with the dowels are gonna feed through the mold so that you're able to move the pegboards around. So what we're doing is we're figuring out where we want our pegboards to be placed. Once we have that figured out, we start to create more holes through our pegboards, feeding the dowels through them, and then creating more holes on our molding pieces. To get the holes to perfectly line up with the little dowels, Matt laid down the pegboard first and just saw where the dowels landed and then just kind of eyeballed it. We used five pegboards total. Once we had them all in place, we went ahead and screwed the molding piece into our wall, making sure that the screw hit a stud. I'm gonna be using this piece to hold tools. The loop hooks from Dollar Tree are perfect for this. They come three for a dollar and 25 cents. I go ahead, place them on top of the pegboard, and I'm able to put some of our tools through those little hooks. Now, the, what I really like about this piece is you don't have to take so much space up on your wall if you wanna keep everything a little bit more condensed. So if I would've laid out all five of these pegboards side by side, it would've took up way more space on the wall versus doing something like this. This takes up only two feet of space on my wall versus almost double that. So if you're somebody who doesn't want a whole bunch of pegboards on their wall, but still want enough to organize a space in their home, this is a great option for you. It reminds me of posters. I don't know if they still have them back in the day. I just know I find them at Five Below and that's it. But back in the day, you can go look at posters and buy them for your bedroom and you would flip through them on this big old thing and always want a poster, but you never got a poster. I don't know. Let me know if you still see those in stores because like I said, I only see them at Five Below. Another way you can use these inside of your kitchen is to hold spices. Instead of a spice rack that goes inside of your cabinet, use your wall space. I'm gonna use the wider shelves for this. I do like this idea, but as I was filming this, I heard something coming up and over here it is popping out a little bit. The adhesive isn't holding the weight of this and these are pretty heavy. So if you are going to do this with just the adhesive, I really only recommend one shelf on a pegboard unless 
you screw this to the wall. If you screw this to the wall, you're going to be good. Because I use the adhesive, I don't wanna go two rows with each shelf just because I don't know how much weight it can hold. So I just have the spices more toward the front and then there's empty space in the back. As many of you guys know, I have a very small kitchen. I think I do a pretty good job taking advantage of what otherwise would be wasted space inside of my cabinets. We don't have many. However, I want to actually use the pegboards to take advantage of the cabinet doors. I think that I can use these to organize some pieces inside of my kitchen. I got the loop hooks from Dollar Tree. Three come in a pack. I'm going to put one at the bottom. Next up, I'm actually going to put some hot glue on the back of my loop hooks and I'm going to place the loop hooks sideways onto the pegboard. I'm going to take my other two loop hooks and put some hot glue on the back of the loop hook. Then I'm going to place those sideways into my pegboards. Putting it sideways is a little hack that I thought of. That way, there's something holding these from going forward. If I just have these all at the bottom, they're gonna fall off real easily. So like this one, it's just gonna keep going like that. But I'm able to take it, wedge it behind these two pieces, and now it's not gonna fall over on me every single time that I open my cabinet. I'm gonna put another pegboard on the opposite side of my cabinet. And this time around, I'm gonna use two of these pegboard cup holders. You can use these cups to store extra kitchen utensils that you might have on hand. Obviously, you don't wanna put anything sharp inside of here. This isn't sharp. You can even use these to store some lighters. I wouldn't keep lighters down here. Don't worry, you guys. I do have a child. I wouldn't do that, but I'm giving you guys some options. This is an awesome hack to take advantage of your cabinet doors to create extra space. And just make sure that as you do this, your door can still close. If you have bigger kitchen cabinet doors, you can take advantage of more space. You guys, my mom brain, man. I decided I was gonna defrost this ice cream a little bit and I forgot and the top is just all melted now. Let me know your favorite Ben and Jerry's ice cream down in the comments. Um, this is definitely the New York super fudge chunk. I love the white chocolate in it. But weirdly enough, I don't like white chocolate on its own, just in this. Now we're gonna go underneath the kitchen sink. A lot of people tend to have cleaning supplies underneath their kitchen sink. I don't have too many liquid ones. I removed them because again, Cooper keeps breaking the childproof locks off of these. So I decided to put anything that could be harmful up. However, I'm still gonna share some ideas here. Underneath my kitchen sink, I'm just gonna be using two of these rectangular shaped pegboards. Now I'm gonna be using the pegboard hooks from Dollar Tree. Steaks come in a pack for $1.25. I'm gonna use these to hang anything that has one of these spray bottles. So I start at the top because I wanna take advantage of as much of these pegboards as I can. So I'll start at the top here, I'll hang a piece, and then I just kind of figure out the placement of everything. Because of how long my cabinet doors are and where I place this, I can't put more of these cleaners on here because then my door does not close. I can still take advantage of these. I do have hanging uh, little sponges and brushes that I could use. They just, they're actually from Dollar Tree. They go right over these pegs. Another option you can use under your kitchen sink or your bathroom sink are the pegboard shelves. Just have fun with these. I'm actually gonna add another pegboard underneath here. I'm gonna do the shelf, but I'm gonna put the shelf at the very bottom of this. Like I said, have fun with it. Figure out a system that works for you, but these are just amazing for organizing. Don't be afraid to use these inside of any medicine cabinets or closets inside of your bathroom as well. So we got this one right here. I'm gonna put one of the pegboards right here and use it to organize some of my stuff. On this particular pegboard, I'm gonna add one of these square pegboard trays. This is one of the smaller ones. And the thing about this is I have to make sure that it's gonna be able to close. It fits in there, okay, so it closes. The same thing with this hookup. I'm gonna do that one and make sure that it closes. I can't put anything like this at the very bottom, so instead I'm just going to use these hooks. Here are some ideas. I'm gonna put some makeup brushes inside of here. You can put some products on top of here. I would put a shelf liner if you're putting it on a door because every time you open and close the door, these might slide around. So if this, something like this is too big for me, it's gonna keep hitting the top of this. For this particular setup, my foundation works, my working serum works, eyelashes, lipstick. That's gonna be completely up to you. Here's some ideas for the pegs. You have unopened eyelashes still in the packaging. You can hang them right off of the pegs. If you have some unused razors that you want to store, if there's a hole on them, they hang right off of the pegs as well. Obviously, you can use this to organize other pieces. This is just an idea for you guys. 
I like the way that the hanging makeup looked inside of here. So I want to do my own little hanging store display of sorts. Just with eyelashes that I have on hand, I tend to have a lot of those on hand. Instead of using the longer pegboard hooks, I'm going to be using the shorter ones and these come in an eight pack versus a six pack. I tend to have unopened lashes at home just because I use them a lot. And then I have some makeup. These ones I kept the tab still on, but they open. These are newer, but you can buy these tabs and put them just on the back of your makeup so that they still open and you can hang them off of all of those little peg hooks. Now when I open this door inside of my bathroom, it's gonna look like my own little personal store. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you to create. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care, bye.